As requested in this video, I'm going to show you the setup or connections if you would like to connect a camera or a DSLR camera to the Monocaster E2. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let me show you the things, uh, cables I will be needing in the setup. First of all, this is the Mono Caster E2, and this is the Mono Condenser microphone. This is the camera I will be connecting to this uh, console. This is a DSLR camera, Nikon or Nikon D7200. This uh, device on here, this is uh, the source of my background music. Let's say you wanted to record a song cover, then this is going to be the setup. Or even if it's not for singing purposes, let's say you just wanted to record uh, an audio or a vocals, let's say podcasting type of thing, and you want to add a background music, then this is going to be the same uh, setup. This uh, XLR male to female, this came when Mon sent me this bundle. So this is just to connect your condenser microphone to here, to this Monocaster uh, E2. And I have two different cords on here. I have this uh, two lines on both ends. This is TRS and this one is TRRS. And now let's start the connections. First, let's connect this uh, condenser microphone to the Monocaster E2. So for that, we will connect this one end to here. And then the other end will connect to this uh, condenser microphone. There you go. And now let's connect the DSLR camera to this Monocaster E2. As I showed you earlier, we have two different cords on here, the TRS and TRRS. Now what I can suggest is use the one that has two lines on both ends, TRS. So from here, we will connect one end to here, to the one that says monitor speaker. And I will connect the other end to the mic port of this uh, of this DSLR camera. So the mic port, so the one right there, mic, and then I'm going to connect this other end to here. Now, if you are wondering why I did not use the TRRS to connect from the live one or two on here, I have tried it, and then the audio output is not as great. The, the volume of your uh, recorded audio is not as great. So this is the best, in my opinion, this setup is the best, uh, is the best uh, setup. To connect your background music, it's up to you if you want to connect that using this cord or if you want to connect them wirelessly. If the source of your background music has a Bluetooth on it, might as well connect it to here wirelessly using Bluetooth. Or if you if you wanted to uh, connect it using a cord, then what you do is connect the other end to the headphone port of your device if there is. If there is no headphone port like this one here that I have, I normally use this um, adapter to connect it over there and then connect it to the port over there and then I connect the other end to the uh, to the aux in over here. But in this video, I will be connecting the background music to here wirelessly, so I don't really need this other cord. Okay, and uh, lastly, we will connect an earphone. If you have a headphone, you can connect that one too. And this time, I will connect, I will be monitoring the uh, audio from this DSLR camera, not from here, so I can hear the actual audio output. So I'll be connecting it to here, again, not from the Monocaster E2, but to here. So from here, I'm just going to locate the headphone port, which is over there. So, and then I'll connect this earphone to here. There you go, I'm all set. As I mentioned earlier, I will be connecting the source of my background music to this Monocaster E2 wirelessly using Bluetooth. So now that I had turned on this Monocaster E2, so you just go to your device. If it has a Bluetooth capabilities, go to uh, settings and then Bluetooth, make sure it's turned on. And as you can see over here, Monocaster E2 is, is not yet connected. So now I will be turning on the BT or Bluetooth over here and they should be connected. Okay, still says not connected. And there you go. So it now says uh, connected. 
So whatever I play on here will now be connected to this monocassar E2. Okay, let's get out from here now. Let's go to YouTube. I suggest before you start a recording, go or set first your microphone sensitivity or go to your microphone setting on your camera. So in this uh, camera that I have, so I just set my microphone sensitivity to number three. And if I'm going to uh, show you what's the max, so the, mi the maximum for the microphone sensitivity if, is up to 20, and I'm only setting it to number three. So it's up to you if you wanna set it, but I, I don't really suggest too high because if you set this one too high, your, your recorded audio output will be a peaking or cracking. So again, in this uh, setup, I will only be setting my microphone sensitivity to number three out of 20. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna get out from here and start my video recording. And there you go, so I am now all ready. And uh, so from here, as to my settings on this Monocaster E2, uh, it's up to you if you want to, to uh, set your low, mid, and high to whatever is your preferred audio. Let's say, for example, I'm gonna set my low, so low is more for a bass. I'm gonna set it to maybe one o'clock and mid is just at the middle and then the high, I'm gonna set this one to maybe at one o'clock also. So high is more for a treble. Since we connected a condenser microphone, do not forget to turn on the 48 volt phantom power. Otherwise, uh, your condenser microphone will not work, so you won't be able to hear it. So anyway, so now in this setup, I already started recording uh, this, uh, this uh, video and audio to this uh, camera right now. So what I will be doing is that I'm going to be playing the recorded audio from this uh, DSLR camera right there so you can hear the actual audio output when the connection is like this. For my microphone over here, I will just be setting it to number five because this one is not uh, super close to me. If this one is uh, closer to me, then I'm going to be lowering my uh, my mic over here. But again, uh, with this uh, setup right now, I'm just going to be setting my microphone to five o'clock. And with this uh, setting right now, I'm just going to be setting my microphone to about uh, number five over here. And uh, now just to, to take note on here in this setup, because we connected this DSLR uh, camera to the uh, speaker or monitor output or port of this Monocaster E2, now the audio volume knob over here doesn't really matter. So even if it's a zero or max, it does not affect to the output or, or the volume output of your uh, recorded video. So again, output uh, volume knob does not matter, but it matters over here. The monitor volume knob matters. If this is at zero, then there is no audio uh, on your recording from that DSLR camera, and plus you will not be able to hear it. So from here, I will just be setting my monitor to maybe about, uh, about uh, one o'clock. As you notice over here, I set my reverb both the depth and decay time to zero, and that's why my vocal does not have any effects. And by the way, what you're hearing right now, that is now the actual uh, audio recorded to this uh, DSLR uh, camera. And if you're going to add some reverberation, you should be able to hear some effects. There you go, sound check. Testing one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so maybe I'm just gonna set it to zero for now. And if we are going to test our uh, background music, as I showed you earlier, this is already connected to this Monocaster Lite uh, using Bluetooth. So let's uh, play this one. Okay, and to control the background music, you can control it from this device itself. Just locate the volume of that. And you can also control this volume knob over here, the one that says aux. So if you're going to play it, and if you want it more louder, so turn it up or lower it. There you go. So that's uh, to control your background music. Now, if you're only recording uh, your voice, maybe more on talking, like a podcasting type of thing with background music playing, you can actually use the side chain over here. What it does is it lowers uh, the background music as you talk. And when you stop talking, the volume of your background music goes up. So let's uh, give it a try. Side chain Okay, on. side chain is on. And let's play this music over here. 
Okay, now I'm playing that music and as I am talking, as you notice, the volume of the background music I am playing is lower, but if I'm going to stop talking, there you go. That is the use of side chains. So again, you can use side this chain. option if uh, you want to maybe simply talk or for any purposes that you want the background music to go low as you talk and then as you stop talking to go up. And that is the use of that uh, side chain. And uh, now let's uh, maybe let me give you a short uh, sample. If you are going to record a song with the background music from this uh, device over here, and then of course with all this uh, settings that I, we're having right now. Okay, so for singing purposes, I will be adding some effects to my voice. Okay, so maybe I'll set the effects uh, depth and decay time both. Uh, Maybe uh, both uh, two o'clock, there you go. And then my aux here, uh, that is my source of the background music. Let me play it again. There you go, so maybe I think that should be okay. Okay, now uh, let's do a quick uh, sample. Okay, there you go. That should be the audio output if you are going to use this kind of settings that I'm using right now. And by the way, if you're going to be using YouTube songs, they were uploaded differently. Some of them are too loud. Some of them are not too loud. So you would have to adjust how loud is your background music uh, together with your microphone, uh, whatever you are using. And by the way, if you will be interested in getting a mono uh, condenser microphone or mono caster e2 or any mono products i do have a 10 percent discount code if you will be buying through their official website demona.com by the way if you will be using maybe the voice changer to record your voice you can use that so let's say you wanted to change your voice there you go so it should be recorded in that way and if you want to do this one then it should be recorded like that way same if you want to use this kind of voice you can use that and then this one if you want then that should be your uh, recorded audio okay there you go that's pretty much what i can uh, share for today i hope this video gives you an idea as to the connections and it gives you an idea as to the audio output of your recorded audio to that dslr uh, camera thanks again guys uh, for watching if you like this type of video please give it a like and if you want more of this type of videos, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.